an SCTV special presentation of a Johnny LaRue production of an opening night gala restaurant premiere. Be our guest as we proudly bring you the long-awaited opening of the 3D House of Beef. Good evening, and welcome to the gala opening of the 3D House of Beef, the only place in town with good 3D entertainment and an excellent cut of beef. My name is Dr. Tongue, and I'll be your maitre d' and host for this evening. Do you have a reservation? You do? Let me check. Ah, yes. Would you care to sign our guest book? Why, thank you. That'll be fine. Would you care to follow me? Watch your step. The place is hopping tonight, and I wouldn't want to lose you. Will this table be to your satisfaction? Good. Have a seat. Since you're our very special guest, we give you the best table. A good view of the stage, close to the kitchen, so your beef won't get cold. Would you like to see a menu? <laughs> There you go. Now that you're settled, I'll have your waiter take your order. Bruno! <laughs> Bruno, what kept me? Well, I've got a three-alarm flambe over there. That's what kept me. I don't Look, care. tongue, don't start barking orders at me. I'm a partner in this venture. I... Oh, excuse him, what? He's somewhat of a moron. <laughs> but I'll leave you in his capable hands. Well, his somewhat capable hands. Bon appetit! We'll talk later. Good evening. I'm your waiter for this evening, Woody Tobias Jr. But you probably uh, recognize me as Bruno in the uh, Dr. Tongue film series. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not just another lackey around here. I, you know, I sunk a few bucks into the place, so I'm just... This is my particular function. And might I recommend the house wine Waiter! This evening? Waiter! Uh -huh. Waiter, come on over here. Pardon come and sit here. Come and sit here, waiter. Quick, quick, quick. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Is this working? Can you hear this? May I have your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen? Could I have your attention, please? Are you having fun so far? Yeah. Great, great. That's just, that's wonderful. Because it's time for showtime here at the 3D House of Beef. And without any further ado, I'd like to bring out my friend, my partner, the master of merriment, the wizard of wit. Would you please welcome Count Floyd? <laughs> oh, come on, let's really hear it for the parents. Scared you, didn't I? <laughs> well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you uh, on behalf of my partners, Dr. Tang and Bruno. We welcome you very warmly to the 3D House of Beef. Enjoy yourself. Eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> For tomorrow, I, I'll suck your blood. <laughs> you know, uh, before we start the show, I have a few announcements uh, to make, uh, so please bear with me. Now, will the owner of the black Cadillac hearse please remove it from the loading dock? You're blocking the uh, meat delivery truck, and uh, wait a minute. That is the meat delivery truck. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> uh, just, uh, just one more announcement, and then we'll go right on with the show. Uh, let's see now. How about this place? Huh? You know, it's the only place around where you can get a steak mm, rare, medium, well done, or through the heart. Oh. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have a great uh, show for you tonight. Believe me, we have a special musical guest. And this guy's so good, he's scary. He's James Ingram. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
James Ingram. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, he's good. Oh, he's going to be here uh, singing his hit single, Just Once. And boy, that's a... <laughs> and, uh, that's some song, let me tell you. And then we have a nice, uh, fine opening act for you. A uh, wonderful group called the uh, Polyesters, I believe. And so before we get the show started, I'd like to just say that I recommend very highly, woo, that you get your 3D glasses to watch this show. That's right, you really can't enjoy the show, the spectacle without your spectacles. <laughs> so if, anyway, 26 bucks is all it's going to put you back. And uh, uh, Dr. Tong and Bruno will be out there circulating amongst you with the, with the glasses. So just give him 26 bucks and get your glasses. You know, these aren't the cheap kind, the cardboard. That's real good. Uh, see that? It's good plastic. And so go ahead and get those glasses. And then without further ado... I'd like to bring out that fine a cappella singing group, the Polyesters. <laughs> How many here? Four? Four, here you go. 26 bucks each. just not going to make it with this place. But I'm not surprised. What well, the jokes you're telling out there? Those are good bits. I've polished those things and refined them. Yeah. They work. Where's the chef, anyway? I thought we had a chef for this place. It's opening night. Oh, yeah. I took the liberty of firing him. He didn't live up to my high standards of culinary expertise. What are you doing with that beef? I see you fooling around with it. Oh, yeah. Well, it's I'm marinating it. They say just uh, marinate it for about five minutes and it should be ready. Come on, drink up, boys. Adam and Eve on a raft, two up on one without, double cackle fruit, rack them, one birdie bye-bye, run them through the garden. That's what the hell are you talking about? Speak English. Look, Tongue, it's the last time I go into a business venture with you. You know absolutely nothing about restaurant lingo. Floyd, your cousins are out there, by the way. They're going over like the bombing of Pearl Harbor. I thought you meant that. Oh, those guys. There are so many people who can talk and talk and talk and tell you nothing. Whoa, they're getting ugly out there. I better get James. James, you're on. Damn, it's cold up in there with that sauce of meat. Well, it was your, your agent who asked for the air-conditioned dressing room, wasn't it? Yeah, well, he's ex. I'm gonna fire that fool. Mm. Well, I'll tell you something, James. You think it was cold in there? Wait till you get on stage. Get on the eighth stage. Okay, James, come on. You're gonna have to get him back. Don't worry about it, though. I'll set you up with a good intro. Stay tuned for more of 3D House of Beef with James Ingram. <laughs> 